Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading that this reading is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it's really important that you just take what it resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside. If ever you feel as though it doesn't resonate, it doesn't make sense, just leave it, just toss it, it's okay. It's a general reading so it does happen. If ever you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the, um, the different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can find those answers for you. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you do enjoy the messages, please, if you have not yet done so, subscribe to the channel to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, I am going to begin this reading. This reading is of the utmost importance. If you're here, it's because it's important for you, because you read the title, you clicked on it. This is no coincidences. Coincidences do not exist. This reading, this message, you were meant to hear. This message is for the sign of Virgo, and this is all about channeled messages that I have gotten for you from your guardian angel. So let's go and see what your guardian angel has to tell you. I'm going to begin with the tarot cards, and I'm going to finish it up after with the oracle cards. So let's begin. There's a lot of love and there's a lot of balancing here, okay? We're going to begin over here with the beautiful Ace of Cups. Now, the message is coming to me is that this is an omen of exciting new beginnings. The Ace offers up the potential for pure love and happiness in your life. It will, and, and if we open ourselves to the possibility though, okay? So if you're not open to the possibility, if your barriers are way too high or you're afraid and you're just closed off, you're not going to get this opportunity. So you need to open your heart to positive change. Do not refuse yourself the right to be happy and to be loved. An invitation to a place of pure contentment, deep emotional connection and boundless love is being offered to you. So do not brush past it, okay? It is so important. So this is a great opportunity for you. Do not bypass that, please. We're now going to move over to the second message I have for you, which is the um, the Knight of Wands over here. So this is about being bold. It's about being strong and it's about being confident. So this is you are on a mission of self-discovery. And you know what? You need to push hard to maintain your fiery passion for life. Now, your positive glowing attributes are going to bring all that attention and all that admiration from others. However, it could be impulsive and doesn't always have the patience to fully explore your fleeting interest. So you need to take control of your passions. You know what you need to do and you have the skills to do at least to get started upon it. So push hard and be fearless. Ride the waves of confidence that you have developed and open yourself to learning more as you go. Your passions are burning hot, so resist impulsivity and calculate a smart plan. Very important, okay? You have exactly what it is that you need. You have everything there. Love is waiting for you. You have the abilities to move forward. You have all the tools. You just have to start moving forward. What you also have to do is you have to balance. You have to balance everything off over here, okay? This is all about reminding us to enjoy living in the moment. You need to open and you need to, to process of achieving your goals can just be as satisfying as winning the prize at the end. Now, you've got a lot going on for you right now and you know, you're balancing it all just absolutely wonderfully. So things are flowing smoothly and you're managing your time quite well. And you know what? You're enjoying the journey. So life's not always about checking things off list. It's about finishing the race. So you need to move on to the next item. Sometimes you just need to breathe and you need to enjoy the dance. So this is what you have to do. Be careful a little bit with your balancing act. You need to enjoy life. You need to enjoy what you're doing right now. And you need to move forward to the next act. You need to move forward to the next act is what your guardian angels are trying to tell you. I'm going to move over now to the um, 
angel over here. The angel is asking you to remain positive. So if ever you get down on your luck or you're feeling not all that hot today and you're thinking, oh no, I'm never going to make it. You're lacking that self-confidence. You're lacking that little push. You know what? Remain positive. There are moments where you're going to feel down. It's okay. Absolutely normal. The important thing is to get right back up, to believe in yourself, believe in your confidence and that you can do it. Remain positive. Okay. Here I have truthfulness for you. Truthfulness for you. Messages coming. Be honest. It's time to face the facts. Otherwise, the truth may be revealed in a way that you would not wish it to. Now, I do now, the angels just don't understand why you wish to hide away, to not expose yourself to the harsh world of judgment. It's your way of protection. But believe me when I tell you that the truth will come out. And you know what? It always does. So better that you confess sooner rather than later in order to avoid a bigger confrontation that you can handle. But now, please remember that when you keep the truth from others, when you tell lies or when your energy decreases and your light fades, everyone makes mistakes. This is about mistakes. And there is no shame in this when you admit that you were in the wrong. Wouldn't you like to release the heavy burdens of secrecy? Allow your guardian angels to support you as you step up to the mark. For, you know, this is not to be scolded. Let the world know who you truly are and don't be shy. Those who recognize your fabulousness will support you all the way along. And those who walk away, you know what? They were just meant to do so. So this message also comes if you are reeling from being mizzled by another. The only way to heal from this devastation is to know that it is much better to have found out now than to have been continuously lied to. No one deserves to be in your life if they think that you aren't worthy enough to be told the truth. You now have the opportunity to move onward and upward. This experience will help you to use discernment in the future, choosing only those around you who have integrity as you use yours. This situation, however painful, is a blessing in disguise for it has actually set you free. And the final message I have for you, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. So that being said, this is the ending of your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to apply it. Um, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Thank you for being there. And I will be seeing you soon. Many blessings to you. And uh, thank you for being there.